Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk About It. I am Taco Minaj and today we got some new products from Fenty Beauty. As well as some new products from Colourpop. I picked up their Limelight Collection. As well as one of the Tinkle Bell blushes. So as always we are going to start our face with primer using the e.l.f. cooling primer. And then we're going to use the Key Lime Lip Scrub and Lip Balm Duo. I have never tried one of the lip scrubs in a lipstick tube type of things before, but I ended up really liking it actually. And I felt like it did a really great job of getting off the dead skin and making sure my lips felt soft. And then the lip balm just made sure that my lips were hydrated and moisturized and I really liked it. And I think I'll probably be using that a lot more. So then, as always, we're going in with the LA Girl Peach Concealer just to color correct our beard area. And we want to make sure that that is blended out and everything is good to go. So we're going to set the color correcting that we just did. And then we're going to be using the Fenty Beauty Foundation that I picked up recently. And we are going to be trying that out. And I actually ended up really liking it. I felt like the foundation built up very nicely with the coverage and I felt like it blended out very nicely as well. Um, I really like this foundation and I'll probably be using it a lot more soon. But next we are going to use the Juvia's Place Concealer. I think I used the shade 24 as it is the lightest one. And we are just applying that and blending that out all over our T-zone or our highlight areas. Hopefully if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know where that is. But then we're just making sure that everything is blended out very, very nicely and making sure everything is seamless. So then we're going in with the Fenty Cream Contour in the shade Amber, just to add a light contour. And then we are blending that out softly. So after cleaning up the contour underneath our cheeks, we are going to use the e.l.f. Bite Size Dip Brow palette that they have. I would love it if it had a little bit more coverage to it, but I think it is still pretty good, especially for the price point. Clean that up with some concealer, making sure that the brow shape is what we want and giving a nice base to our eyes and of course blending that out this way there's no excess concealer that will get in and clump our eyeshadow now we're going in with the fenty beauty cream blush in the shade strawberry drip and then we're just going to pack that on and build it out using circular motions I wanted to go with a softer look today, as you guys can see, everything's looking pretty soft, pretty natural. Now we are going to use our highlighting powder, which for me is like mostly white, but still some pigment in there just to build it up. And then we're going to use a very light amount of our base powder. And then I just want to go in and use the rumor base in the shade zero from p louise i wanted to have a white base for the lime eyeshadow shade just to make sure everything popped so this is a palette and we're going to be using the bottom right and then the middle left two shades to create an eyebrow shape but nope to create a eye crease shape my bad you guys but what I meant to say was that we're going to use the pale shade in the top left corner that has some green reflect in it for our brow bone just to make sure that our brow bone is set and it is pale. And then I like to go in with the deeper shade 
I decided to use a deeper shade first with this um, base and make a eye shape with it and then we're gonna blend out using that left middle shade to make sure it has a very nice transition and give a good crease. I wanted the focus today to be on the eyelid rather than the entire eye. So I went in and this is what I came up with. And then now we are just adding some more of the rumor base just to cut our crease. So now we are going to take two of the lime green shades from the limelight palette and then we're going to use a bright one for the center of our eyes and then a little bit more of a lighter shade on our inner eyelid just to add a nice gradient. And then as always going back in with that darker shade just to blend up the edge. And then next I'm taking two of the Jelly Much eyeshadows just to give our eyelids a nice sparkle. Look at my eyes, they look pretty. So then now we're going to use the color sticks that came with the Limelight collection and I wanted to put it on my waterline to give a nice pop of color, however that did not work at all as you guys can see it just wasn't taking and i was very upset so i ended up just going in with a black coal pencil in my waterline and now we're just going to add some contour And then we're going to take the Tinkerbell Super Shock Blush. I love the color. And I am now going to use the Fenty Kilowatt Liquid Highlighter. I felt like using the light pink shade, the like more rose gold shade, would complement the Tinkerbell Super Shock Blush. That is such a tongue twist for me to say, I am so sorry. But we just want to blend out that Kilowatt highlighter and then we're going to use the, I think it's the Diamond Veil is a formula for the highlighter and we're going to add that to our highlight spots. I really like this highlighter too. I feel like it's very soft but very impactful at the same time. And then, so we're going to speed through this next part you guys because I couldn't figure out what kind of a lip I wanted to create and it did not go well. Um, what I wanted to do was just have a like neutral brown lip liner and then a nice gloss to go over it, but um, it didn't look right. So I added some lipstick, a nude but like orangey warm lipstick, put the gloss back over it and I was like, this is, this is okay, but I feel like we can do better. So I took it off. And then I went in with a darker brown lip liner and made sure to line my lips. And I decided that I wanted to go in with a soft berry, soft like wine, like kind of a like nude lip red type of vibe. Um, but this is ended up this ended up being what I created. So this is the final look. I added a wig and outfit to match the eyeshadow. What do you guys think? I ended up really liking all the products except for the color sticks from ColourPop. But this is a completed look. Let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys next time. This has been another episode of Let's Talk About It. Bye!